Good morning, guys, and good morning to you. Welcome, welcome, welcome to this Good Morning Tottenham Away Saturday episode, guys. I hope you are fantastically well, wherever you are in the world. Um, it's a, it's an opportunity for me, especially in, in days like today, where it's a little bit more relaxed, um, and, and say stuff that perhaps I don't always get to say um, during the working week. Um... First and foremost, um, I just want to take this opportunity to thank each and every one of you who continue to um, view our content, subscribe to our channel, not just this one here, but the WFM channel too. Um, and the numbers are always growing day by day, the views and, and everything else. It's just your constant um, support is absolutely um, very much appreciate. Now, perhaps um, I don't always get the opportunity to say this during the week, but I want to take um, a minute here just to thank thank you guys um, for your continuous support. If you're new, welcome guys, welcome on board. Um, if you view and you don't haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe. Smash that like, smash that subscribe. It's free of charge, no cost whatsoever. And most importantly, guys, activate the notification bell, which allows you to receive all the latest content live stream that go up on the channel um, as soon as it appears and it will come straight to your device. So uh, do absolutely activate the notification bell. Day one, guys, day one of season 23-24. I can't believe how quickly that's come round. Um, incredible! It feels like only yesterday we finished last season, and it was a disappoint disappointment. But um, I wrote something early. Early, I woke up super early this morning. It's just habit, force of habit. Um, and and tweeted it. I, by the way, if you wish to follow me on Twitter, um, it's Iggy Prince TV. Um, same for Insta. Although I'm not always on Insta. But I have an account there, Iggy Prince TV, at Iggy Prince TV. So Twitter and Insta, you'll find me there, guys. Um, I did write these words. Um, it, I, I said, "Good morning to you all." Uh, the other day, when I was outside Hotspur Way doing a GMTA video, "Good Morning Tottenham Away" video, I have to say, roadworks noise aside, and given I hadn't been there in quite a while. There was a nice vibe feel around the place since I last, uh, since I was last there under Antonio Conte. Of course, it was the morning after we had officially signed Madison, and sure, it, it is early days, and absolutely nothing has been done nor achieved by any stretch of imagination. But there was an air of fresh start reset about it, and as the season officially starts today. I, for one, want to start my 23-24 season along that vibe, though I'm more than aware that things can change very, very quickly in football, even more so when you are a Tottenham Hotspur fan. But we've got to start somewhere, guys, yeah? So today is day one. And always, as I sign every, every video off, as always, forever always, come on, you Spurs. Um... So let me know how you feel about day one of 23, 23, 24 season um, right below in the comments. Um, I want to I want to hear how you've taken, you know, is it is it something, is this something that you perhaps have, have, have added to you, to your way of thinking for the new season um, or or you do you feel differently? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Um, so it's like I said, it's the first day of the new season and um, obviously players have either been released or gone back to their, their, their clubs or, or moved on. Uh, here we have the list of the men's first team under 23 and under 18 that have now left Tottenham Hotspur. Obviously Arnold uh, Danjuma has gone back, Clement Longley has also gone back to Barcelona, uh, Lucas Moura, obviously 
free agent. Um, then we have the younger lads, uh, Jamie Bolden, Callum, uh, Callum Seze, Malachi Fagan Walcott, uh, Roshan Matherin, Marcus Moyer, Ro Romain Mundell, Thomas Bloxham, Brandon Bry Walt, and Riley Owen. Those guys have all left the club as of yesterday. It was their final day. Um, in the market, um, guys, we got um, obviously Harry Winks. It's still, it still looks like the deal's getting closer um, for him. That him moving to Leicester City for ten million pounds. Um, Tottenham midfielder Harry Winks is closing on a move to Leicester on a fee of about ten million. The twenty-seven-year-old has dropped down pecking order at Spurs in recent seasons and spent last season on loan in Italy with Sampdoria. Um, listen, if we get even ten million, I'm mean, ten million for me right now for Harry Winks is a good deal. It's a good deal, and and do you know what him going to Leicester means that we really have paid thirty million for James Madison. So I think, look, I think credit where credit's due um, to everybody at the club. When things like this happen, yes, we criticise when, oh, I certainly do, when, when it needs to be done. But praise also needs to happen when, when, when things um, such as this um, go on board. So let's hope we get that deal done and start focusing on recouping some money of players that are not wanted uh, or needed um, at this club and start recouping some funds. There's many more to get through um, this summer. How many we get through, I don't know. Will it Will it, ha will it happen? Will we get rid of every single player that are not wanted at this club? Tough. It is going to be really tough. But we have to start somewhere. Um, yesterday, I mentioned about Hoiberg and his possible move uh, to Atletico Madrid. Um, I, I said in yesterday's video, maybe I was... Maybe I was a bit harsh or whatever, but, you know, it, it was probably just the time of the video, that, the amount of time I had to make that video. I've got nothing against, per se, against Hoiberg. I think he's done well in the time he's been at the club. Um, but I do think, given the change of position, as in with Postacoglu coming in and changing tactical position and how we're looking to move him forward to a 4-3-3, I, I do think we require... Um, something else. I do think Skip in in that number six role well, right now. What we currently have with Basuma and Skip is more than enough. I think the fact that we've got market for Hoiberg and the fact that we can recoup some money for him to allow us to invest in a proper number eight. I don't think he's good enough to for a a, a single you know being a, a the lonely pivot in that midfield. Given that we have the likes of Basuma and Skip just mentioned. Um, uh, by selling him, it allows us to invest in a in a proper number eight who can add quantity and quality. Tonali would have been ideal, but at that price, no chance. So that's why I say we need a Barella type player, um, and that's the thumbnail. We need a player of those characteristics. Barella would be amazing. Whether Inter will part with him or not is another matter. They do have financial. Um, problems there, but it doesn't it seem to affect them in signing players um, uh, in any way or form. Um, but I do feel like we need a Barella type player. He would be fantastic if we could get him. He combines both quantity and quality, bags of energy, gets up and down the pitch with him on one side, Madison another in another, and and holding mid with with. Bissouma, whilst we patiently wait for Bentico to come back from injury, don't want to rush that as well, given that he's been out for a while. But we want to recover a player like Bentico's importance. Very, very important for our, for the way we play football. And certainly with Postacoglu's um, way of playing football, I think Bentico will go even up a level, but we have to be patient with him. But in the meantime, we want to have a midfield to really start the season off with. So a Barella-type player would be, um, would be absolutely of importance. He will be brilliant, but you know if he goes up for sale, there's Liverpool sniffing around, and there's many teams in Europe, and you don't want to end up in a in a in a in a in a, in a war bidding war. But there are players with those characteristics around, with a really good recruitment, we can possibly identify somebody like him and bring him in at a good price for us. Um, Moving on with the with the left back Udoji's agent spoken recently. Of course, Udoji is on his way to Tottenham, but I just think they wanted to make it clear if he is still part of Spurs' 
um, Spurs' uh, you know, future moving forward, given that he was signed under um, Antonio Conte. With, obviously, we're not playing with win-backs anymore. We're going back to about four. So in a 4-3-3, three, three, they just wanted to make sure that he was still very much part of what Postacoglu has in mind. And he's been given assurances by our manager that he is seen as part of our team moving forward. And he is he is wanted um, in, in our tour in Thailand. Uh, so he will be very much part of that because there is... The reason why the agent has brought this up because there's obviously teams in Italy that want and want to, you know, look to bring um, a player like Udoji in. And that includes Inter, Juve and AC Milan. So there's big teams in Italy that want him. But I think Postacoglu is going to squash that because he sees Udoji as part of our team. Guys, that will do for today. Um, let me know your thoughts of everything I've just spoken about in the comments below. Um, please like, smash that like to the video. Subscribe if you haven't really done so. And of course, in between that comment, let me know your thoughts on everything. Everything you, you've been spoken about and how you're feeling and what's your vibe for day one of 23-24 season. Let me know. And so, if not tomorrow, we'll definitely see you on Monday. I'll definitely be seeing you on Monday for the next Good Morning Tottenham Away video. As always, forever always, it's come on you Spurs. The first game we look for, Robbie. Tottenham Away. 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 Tottenham away.